Hello Cancer and welcome to your weekly messages from the universe. Cancer, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards to reveal the energies that you are working with this week. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because by doing that you are going to get a much fuller reading of the energies that you are working with this week. Cancer, if you could subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, that would be awesome as I release videos for you every single day. Also, I wanted to let you know that I have recorded the 2021 yearly videos. They are going to be in the members only section or here on YouTube. They are $1.99 and you can watch all 12 videos. So that's awesome. And if that's something you're interested in, the link is in the description box below. So let's see what we have. Mm, this card has been coming up quite a lot, Cancer. The lover's card. All right. So this is what we have. And you have two major kind of cards. So these two cards really have important messages for you. I'm just going to move the cards down a little bit so that you can see the cards a lot better. All right. Okay. So just getting the energies from this reading. So you are starting off this reading, Cancer, with the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is indicating to me that you have been putting in some time and effort into something that you are hoping this thing pays you back. So here, as you are pausing, as you are in that energy of waiting, waiting for your investment to give you the returns that you want, that you hope for, that you expect, you are here in the energy of the seven. The number seven is all about feeling victorious. It's all about strategy. So maybe you have invested your money into something and you have been really strategic about where you've put your money, your time and your effort. And now you are hoping that everything is going to work out all right. I like the Seven of Pentacles because usually it's a card about victory. So I hope that success is on your side because we have a card that speaks of disappointment, pain, a card that speaks of a situation ending for once and for all. So there is a situation in your mind that you already know, you have an inkling about this situation that is coming to an end. This could be a relationship, a friendship. This card could also indicate that energy of feeling that you were stabbed in the back. So Cancer, really be aware of the people that you are keeping close to you as friends. Because usually when we get stabbed in the back, these are people that we know. So just have that warning, have that heads up to say, maybe as you are here waiting for your returns, waiting to get a payback on something that you have really worked hard for. Someone could be feeling a bit envious and they could want to just get you out of the way so that they can have all this goodness that is waiting for you. So again, really be careful of the people that you are keeping close by. The next card we have is encouraging you to have a good judgment, a good judgment again of your friends, your partners. Just have this good judgment and the people who are around you again, make sure that when you are winning, these people are clapping. Make sure that these people's hearts have pure intentions and cancer. If for whatever reason, if you don't feel that these people are on your side, make sure that you are strong enough to release them, to let them go. Don't hold on to baggage. Don't hold on to people who don't truly 
have your back. People who don't clap when you're winning, be in this energy of judging your friends, your relationship, your close companions. So the next card we have, interestingly, is the lover's card. And like I always say, the lover's card is much more than just relationships. Romantic relationships, this is. The lover's card could be our business partner, our neighbors, the people that we have close by. And seeing that we had this card here, the judgment card, could it be again? that you need to assess the relationships, the people that you have, that you trust, the people that you have close by. Because again, the people who usually give that final blow are people we trust with personal information, really information that we wouldn't disclose to just anyone. But these people could then use that information to bring about our demise so be careful who you are imparting your secrets to make sure you really trust these people because again you are being asked by these two major arcana cards to be careful of relationships friendships lovers people that are close by to you people you hold close and dear to you. Don't be paranoid, but just be careful. And I always say that you know, usually when someone delivers that fatal blow, someone comes and stabs us in the back. It's quite rare that we are surprised. Usually we were like, you know what? In my gut, I knew. I just knew something wasn't quite right with that person. I just knew. And so in your heart, you are going to know that this person, mm, keep an eye out on them. So whatever is going on here, I am pleased to say that cancer, this situation is just cooking and brewing all by itself. You know, it's got its own story there. And as we are moving on with our story, I am glad to say that the energies get a lot better for you, cancer. Because I feel that when you finally are able to figure out this situation here, you really find this to be freeing. You really find peace of mind. Because we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups bringing in that sense of peace, of closure. This card really sees you moving on with clarity with your cup overflowing because maybe this reading gave you that heads up and you moved yourself out of the way and as you saw things unfold this is where you are thanking the divine thanking God for letting you see this situation for what it truly is if you're expecting your partner is up to something hmm you know, fill in the blanks. What are you feeling? Your gut instincts already tells you the truth, like I already said. But moving on, we're seeing that as this chapter is closing, peace, your heart is overflowing, that finally you have closure, finally you can move on, finally you understand that you can create these brighter days ahead for yourself instead of staying in a situation where you don't know what's truly going on and you're moving forward with a wonderful card of the king of swords now i want to bring these two cards together because they speak really well together because they see you feeling balanced and that's beautiful cancer and they see you feeling balanced in a way that you can speak your truth clearly. You can state what you feel and you don't care who gets hurt. Because remember, they didn't care about hurting you. And so finally you are bringing some home truths. Finally you're like, okay, mm -hmm. well, 
I have the facts. I have the receipts. Sit down. Let's talk. And you are standing in your power because you are able to logically, and the key word here is logic, the swords remove emotion. Okay? So Cancer, you are logically able to sit down, to speak your truth, to produce the receipts, to say whatever it is that you have to say because you have the evidence, because swords are about truth. Swords are about justice. And we are seeing you here feeling very comfortable with the truth that you have that can free you from this situation that was probably going on for a while and you just didn't know how to deal with this situation. But since the divine gave you the heads up, you were able to go and collect the receipts that you needed to collect before this person was able to strike. You were able to say, hey, we need to talk because here is the fact of the matter. And the swords are about our speech. It's about clarity of speech. It's about speaking and being understood and getting to the fact of the matter, getting to the heart of the matter, cutting to the chase and delivering that final blow because you were being taken advantage of. So Cancer, whatever is going on here, the divine has given you that heads up, that warning that you need to just really be aware of the people who are around you because not everyone is clapping as you are winning. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. On that note, I'm going to see you in my next video and it's a goodbye from me. Bye.